Aloha. This instructional video will provide some basic information on the use of deep sea fishing reels. This left view of the reel shows the clicker or the ratchet button. Again, the clicker button is on the left. The line on the reel spool in the middle on the upper right is the spool release lever and in the middle right is the crank handle. This right side view of the reel shows the crank handle, the spool release lever, and the star-shaped metal wheel is the drag adjustment. Don't mess with this. Another type of reel. On this one the clicker lever lever is on the right side and shown with the yellow arrow. The maroon arrow shows the snap release. The snap release is also called a roller troller. Roller troller snaps are also run up the outrigger and center rigger poles on ropes. Captain Tommy Dodona will now give some instruction on using the reels. Okay, well, we're bringing one of the lines in. So this is a ratchet on this side. If I start the reel with the ratchet on, you can hear this noise. So what I'm going to do is take the ratchet and push it down, put my hand on the reel, and bring the line back and forth. You don't have to go super fast, but it's got to be that it doesn't bunch up. So that's what I want to do is bring the line back and forth. And I'm going in a clockwise motion in a four inch arc. And I'm bringing the line back and forth. Now normally if there was a fish on here, I would have my gloves on. But being there's no fish, I'm just bringing it in to show you how to reel it. This has a big lure on it for marlin. And I take the gap. That's one of my inventions. This is a snap swivel. This here, if a fish was to hit it, that would snap off. Being, this is like a clothesline. If a fish hit it, this is a snap swivel. It would come off, the reel would turn, and you take the ratchet off, and you go back and forth. With 
your hand, your line goes back and forth, not to bunch it up. You can find a little crevice that doesn't have enough line and you can put some in there. Nice and easy reeling. Leave it about three feet so that you could come over, turn the pole, bring the line in the boat. Unsnap the swivel, take the hook off, and there you go. Then this here outrigger, we lift up and we turn it to put it in an upright position. Then we put this, this here stops the rope from going up or down. Then we have to do this one here is to bring this down So we can snap this off. And then put this back on so it stays in position. Then we reel this slack up. That's basically how it's done. This is a bird, and the lure gets attached to there, and this goes on the line. This is a small bird. That's a big bird. That's it for now. Look at our uh, captain here, uh, Steve. He looks like a turtle. Here's another demo. If a fish hooks up, the roller troller snap releases. Go to your pole and turn the clicker or ratchet off. Smoothly crank the reel handle with your right hand while moving the line back and forth on the spool with your left hand. The line is 100 pound test and the reels can hold up to 4,000 feet or three quarters of a mile of line. If the fish is large you won't be able to reel in at first and it will be taking line out. As the fish tires then reel in when you can. Keep steady constant pressure on the fish. If you get tired on a large fish and can't reel anymore, let us know and somebody else will take over. If you just stop reeling, the fish could get off the line. Reel in until the bird, the ball, or the wire swivel is about a foot short of the rod tip. The fish is pulled into the boat or gaffed if it is large. When the line is let out, keep a slight pressure on the line spool with the left hand as the line goes out. There is a black mark on the line to indicate how far to let the line out for that particular pull. Turn the clicker on. Snap the line into the roller troller, but be sure not to pinch the line with a snap.
Here's a short video on an actual hooking up and reeling in of a fish. Watch the tip of the rod on the right corner pole. When the roller troller snap releases, go to your pole and turn off the clicker. Reel smoothly and steadily with the right hand while guiding the line back and forth with the left hand. If it is rough seas as it is here, be sure to brace yourself against the side of the boat. Notice the pole on my right hooking up another fish. Get out of the way as the fish is pulled into the boat. Here's a few pictures of past guest fishermen that you might recognize and their catches of the day.